Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got ourselves another Unfinity Draft Booster Box here. Everything's fully sealed and intact. So let's crack this thing open and see if we can find some shock lands. Uh, preferably more than one. Um, I know we're going to see our box topper. That's going to be a shock land. We'll open up that one last. Uh, but we've got 36 packs of goodness to go through first. And lots of basic lands to open and reveal. Um, still holding a lot of value in basic land category. So uh, let's crack these open and see if we can, can't can find some space lands. Uh, we are going to go a little bit quicker than last time because we've been through Infinity once before. So we've got a Disembowel, Performance, the Tapper, the Scooch, the Embigidden, the One Clown Band, the Six Sided Die, the Make a Splash, Roxy, Publicist to the Stars, with a ticking mind bomb, and our rare is going to be Ignatio of Myra's Marvels, with a full art mountain, a beetle, a Ferris wheel, a clown robot, and a snazzy Aether homunculus. So currently, there's only a few cards from the set that are currently valued over a dollar. I think we're starting to see a few of the cards increase in value. Um, but, uh, I think it's going to take a little bit, uh, more time, maybe another week or two. So in this pack, we've got a clown car for our rare, and we're going to see our first off planet, uh, land, and that's going to be a swamp. Then we're going to see a drop tower, a squirrel stack a food and a night brushwag ringmaster. All right. This pack's just giving me trouble. All right, we got the Unlawful Entry, Bird Gets the Worm, Xeno Squirrels, Boing, Coming Attraction, The Advantage, The Ticket Omation, The Bleeder, The Manipulator, Pietra, Crafter of Clowns, and a Vorthos, Steward of Myth. Nice Mythic showing on up. With an On Planet Swamp, a Fortune Teller, Trivia Contest, Balloon, and a Trained Blessed Mind. All right, we got the command performance again, followed by the tapper, the scooch, decisions, decisions, Adam wheel acrobatics, e electrocute, balls of fire, attempted murder, knife and blanks armor, and a doolittle caricaturist as our rare, with an on planet forest, foam weapons rack, information booth, and a Moxana midway manager showing up as a foil, with a ticket bucket bot and an eternal acrobat toast there we go got my piles a little more straight all right we've got the clowning around the step right up the bluffer fish gobsmacked grabby tabby minotaur de force glitter finger excuse me glitter flitter autograph book line prancers Space Family Goblinson, and an exchange of words as our rare with an on-planet planes, clown extruder, a centrifuge, it's going to be one of our rare attractions, and a clown robot with a space fungus snickerdoodle coming in as our sticker set. Hopefully everyone out there is enjoying Unfinity. Seems to be a little bit more attainable than Warhammer. <laughs> So we got uh, Bird Gets the Worm, Unlawful Entry, Xeno Squirrels, Amped Up, An Incident Has Occurred, Finishing Move, Rockstar, Juggletron, Blank Blank Trespasser, Ballerina. How is this a par three for our rare? With a Mountain, a Kitty Coaster, a Bumper Cars, a Treasure, and an Ancestral Hot Dog Minotaur. I love the sticker sheets. I'm definitely going to collect them all and just store them away. I don't think I'll actually put stickers on any cards. If I do, it'll be on sleeves. All right, we got a Scared Stiff, Prize Wall, Leading Performance, Mistakes Were Made, The Blank Goblin, Park Map, Blastronauts, Tuscan Whiskers, Blank Blank Rocket Ship, followed by a Mobile Clone as our rare, and an Off-Planet Forest, um, just take a look at that. It looks really amazing. And if I can separate them, we're going to see a cover the spot, a scavenger hunt, 
and a prize wall foil with a zombie employee and a wrinkly monkey shenanigans. So no shock land as of yet, but plenty of packs to go. We got a Boeing a clowning around. Step right up. The nearby planet, the chicken trope, slight malfunction, the ride guide, trigger happy, complaints clerk, octo opus. Ooh, this is the pack. And we got ourselves an opening ceremony. Look at that. And we got ourselves a blood crypt coming in. Uh, first shock land of the box. Very cool. Um, I believe blood crypt is going to be the most, oh, second most valuable. I apologize. The steam vents is number one. So the blood crypt is currently valued at just around $55. So we will gently put that to the side. Then we get ourselves a spinny ride, roller coaster, ticket bucket, and a prime elder kitty. So has anyone ever seen two Shocklands in one box? Non-foil. I'm curious. Comment below. Rat in the Hat, Motion Sickness, Hat Trick, Down for Repairs, Alpha Guard, Big Winner, Blinkosaurus, Night Shift of the Living Dead, DK, Trapeze Artist, and a Celebrate 8000 for our rare with a Full Art Island, a Dart Throw, Hall of Mirrors Rare Attraction, and a Happy Dead Squirrel. Uh, and when I say two shock lands, I'm referring to one, or excuse me, two non-foil. Uh, that does not include the box topper because that's in, in every box. So we've got the bluffer fish, the gobsmack, the scared stiff, the plot armor, the petting zookeeper, the wee champion, the animate object, the squirrel squatters, balls of fire, and a blue ribbon as our rare with a swamp, a drop tower, a concession stand, and a foil quick fixer with some food and a sassy gremlin blood. Interesting word combination on that sticker sheet. So I don't yet have the blood crypt, so I'm super excited to uh, add that to my collection. Um, is there a particular shock land you all are looking for? So Decisions Decisions, Angelic Herald, Pie Eating Contest, The Pin Collection, Starlight Spectacular for our rare, with a planes, a supulatorium, the gift shop, and a squirrel with a geek lotus warrior. All right, got the impounding lot bot, the dissatisfied customer, the crooked infinant, Adam Wheel Acrobatics, the E Electrocute, Amped Up, the Pyro Dancer, Brim's Baron Midway Mobster, a park re entry. A spelling bee is going to be our rare with an off planet planes, followed by a foam weapons rack, or excuse me, foam's weapons kiosk, and a guess your fate with a ticket omation and a clown robot in the back with a jetpack death seltzer. All right, last pack in stack one. So we've now uh, gone through 11 packs and we've got ourselves one shock. I will be utterly shocked if there's another one. So prize wall, leading performance, rat in the hat, circuits act, stilts rider, rat rascal, carnival carnivore, attempted murder, knight in blank armor, juggletron with a meet and greet sisse coming in as our rare with a forest, a Jace fortune teller, balloon stand, ticket bucket, and a contortionist uh, otter storm coming in as our sticker set. All right, so that takes us through stack number one. I am just going to reposition my piles here. Slide those over there out of the way. And let's just move on. Starting it off with the motion sickness. Hopefully I didn't cause you all any of that. The hat trick, the down for repairs, coming attractions, the advantage, six-sided die, and begidden, blank blank trespasser, ballerina, trigger happy, with an animate graveyard as our rare. And then we're going to see ourselves a mountain, pick a beeple, trash bin, and a treasure with a cursed fire breathing yogurt. Ooh. You can definitely tell the, uh, the folks at Wizards had, uh, had fun with this set. So we got a bar entry, deadbeat attendant, a bag check, an incident has occurred, finishing move, rock star, 
Just courtesy clerk. Ambassador blurpity blurp bloop. Monitor monitor. And we're going to see a phone a friend mythic coming out of blue. With an island. A costume shop. And a tunnel of love. Followed by a foil forest. And then a contortionist and a demonic tourist laser. So very nice. That's our first uh, basic land in foil out of the box. Hopefully we'll get a few more, maybe even an off-planet foil. Those are going to be the more valuable ones. So we've got a Wizards of the Blank, Good Day to Pie, The Line Cutter, followed by The Season Buttoneer, The One Clown Band, The Ticket Omation, The Grabby Tabby, Complaints Clerk, Octo Opus, The Big Top, and Jermaine, Pride of the Circus, coming in as our rare with a Swamp, Bounce Chamber, Information Booth, Ticket Bot, and a Squid Fire Knight. So we're approaching about the halfway point of the box. And we got an Aerial Font, Questionable Cuisine, Focused Fumbleist, Nearby Planet, Chicken Trope, Slight Malfunction, The Ride Guide, Sword Swallowing Seraph, Spinneret Arachnobat, A Goblin Girder Gang, and our rare is going to be a Goblin Crucibleist with an off-planet mountain. Very cool to see that. That is the most valuable um, off-planet we can get right now. We've got to cover the spot. Clown Extruder, Clown Robot, and an Eldrazi Guacamole Tightrope. <laughs> All right, got the lot bot again. The Dissatisfied Customer, The Crooked Amphonaut, Minotaur de Force, Glitter Flitter, Mistakes Were Made, Blank Goblin, Pair O Dice Lost, a Strength Testing Hammer, Last Voyage of the Whatever. And look at that. We're going to see ourselves a borderless Space Jace, the Space Bellerun coming in here. Very cool to see this. Uh, this does have some value at just over $3. And it's borderless, so I'm going to put it up here with our blood grip. Then we got ourselves a planes, a kitty coaster, a squirrel attack, and some food with a squishy sphinx ninja. All right, we got ourselves a Now You See Me, a Sanguine Zipper, Wolf and Blank Clothing, Plot Armor, Non-Human Cannibal, Ticket Turbo Tubes, Clandestine Chameleon, Goblin Airbrusher, Moxana, Midway Manager, and a Standard Procedure Mythic coming in with an Island, a Dart Throw, a Log Flume, Rare Attraction, and a Rare uh, Foil Souvenir T-shirt. It's very cool to see a Foil Rare. Teddy Bear with a Mystic Doom Sandwich. All right, moving on. Bar Entry. And something stuck behind it. The deadbeat attendant. Bag check. Aerial font. Park map. Blankosaurus. Big winner. Bioluminary. Get your head in the game. Fight the blank fight. And a trust chief engineer as our rare. With a mountain. A spinny ride. A trivia contest. And a ticket bucket bot. With a werewolf lightning mage. Still a huge fan of the lands in this particular set. Um, not going to deny it. They are some of my favorites. Bamboozling Beeble, followed by the Jetpack Janitor. The Disembowel, the Vegetation, the Well Done, the Gatebot, the Zookeeper. The Icing Manipulator, Ticket Mime Bomb, Roxy Publicist to the Stars, and a Centaur of Attention with an Off-Planet Island coming in. Very cool to see that. With a fortune teller, bumper cars, clown robot, and an unhinged beast hunt. All right, questionable cuisine. With the focus fundamentalist, now you see me, Alpha Guard, Blurby and Buddy, Art Appreciation, Quick Fixer, Done for the Day, Scampire. And we're going to see Solo Flora Intergalactic Icon. Rare from white. And then a forest with a roller coaster. Storybook ride. And an Atom Wheel Acrobatics. And a treasure token with a Carnival Elephant Meteor. Oh, 
Sorry about the focus, everyone. Carnival Elephant Media. Is it this guy? It is that guy. So we're just going to flip him over. Uh, Carnival Elephant Meteor coming in at the end. All right, moving on in to our next pack. We're going to start ourselves off with a Command Performance, followed by a Tapper, Soul Swindler, Super Duper Lost, the Wii Champion, the Circus Act, the Stilt Strider, Park Bleeder, Make a Blank Splash, Pietra, Crafter of Clowns, and a Devil K. Neville as our rare, followed by a Swamp, Foam Weapons Kiosk, the Scavenger Hunt, the Storm Crow, and we're going to see a Goblin Coward Parade. All right, last pack and stack two. I think this is where we found the Blood Crypt. Could you imagine if this thing had three Shocklands in it? I would lose it. All right, Sanguine Zipper. Wolf in Blank's Clothing. Bamboozling Beazle, Beeble. Decisions, Decisions. The Atom Wheel Acrobatics. The Electrocute. The Amped Up. The Haber Thrasher. The Busted. The Assembled Ensemble. And we're going to see a Treacherous Trapezus as our rare with a Plains, followed by a Drop Tower, Concession Stand, Ticket Box, and a unique Charmed Pants. So all pants are uniquely charmed, aren't they? All right, so I'm just going to fix my piles here once again, and we'll just move on into stack number three. And make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'll be doing a full MTG box analysis and doing a minor comparison between this box and the draft booster box that we opened up last Friday. So we've got a Rad Rascal, Carnivore, Attraction, the Autograph Book, the Line Prancers, the Space Family Goblinson, and the Most Dangerous Gamer coming in as our rare with a Off-Planet Swamp or Planetary Swamp and the Pick a Beeble followed by the swinging ship and a foil trash bin attraction coming in with a clown robot and a zombie cheese magician coming in as our sticker. All right, kicking off this pack with a jetpack janitor, a disemboweled command performance, an incident has occurred, the finishing move, the rock star, a nearby planet, Astro Aquarium, the Wicker Picker, the Gray Merchant of Alphabet, and we're going to see a Knife and Death. I was really hoping that was going to be a saw in half with a Forest, Costume Shop, Guess Your Fate, the Food, and a Yogmith Merfolk Soul. So I haven't really talked too much about cards of value, right? But uh, Space Bellerin, the Space Jace, uh, we've got Myra the Magnificent. Magar of the Magic Strings, Comet the Stellar Pup, and Saw in Half is going to be just over $7. So that's going to be a rare that we're looking for. It's one of those paternal cards that has gained some traction from the set. Slight Malfunction, the Ride Guide, the Abomination, the Priority Boarding, the Vegisaur, a Real Handful, and a Grand Marshal Macy coming in. So Macy, uh, very cool to see that as a Mythic with an island, a kitty coaster, a balloon stand, a ticket bot, and a dented giant mana cake. I'm not too worried about the stickers though. As long as I have one of each in mint, my collection is complete. I can't imagine they'll have high value long-term. That one's got a dent on it too. Great. All right, bird gets the worm, the xeno squirrels, the boing. And the clowning around, the Aardvark's Advantage, or Arder Wolf's Advantage, Six Sided Die, Embiggen, the Goblin Blastronauts, the Tuscan Whiskers, the Blank Blank Rocket Ship, followed by Nocturno of Myra's Marbles. And we got ourselves a Mountain, a Clown Extruder, the Supilatorium, the Squirrel, and the Spooky Clown Mox. couple of more packs to go here and then we'll do our box topper and see what kind of foil shock land we get step right up the bluffer fish the gobsmack the one clown band the ticket omation the grabby tabby 
DK, Finder of the Lost, followed by Night Shift of the Living Dead, Pie Eating Contest, Vidalkin Squirrel Whacker coming in as our rare with a Planetary Forest. Then we're going to see a Cover the Spot, a Rare Push Your Luck, followed by an Icing Manipulator in Foil, the Robot, and a Cool Fluffy Loxodon. Very cool. I'm just having fun with the set. Robo Pinata, the Scooch, the Unlawful Entry, the Well Done, Ticket Turbo Tubes, the Plot Armor, Non-Human Cannonball, Animate Object, Squirrel Squatters, followed by Blank Balls of Fire, and the Souvenir T-Shirt is our rare, with a Swamp, Spinny Ride, Trash Bin, Treasure, and a Vampire Champion Fury. I think we got about, I don't think I can open two at once. I think we've got about six packs left to go. All right, we got the Scared Stiff, the Prize Wall, the Leading Performance, the Minotaur de Force, the Glitter Flitter, Mistakes Were Made, Angelic Herald, the Trapeze Artist, the Pin Collection. There we go, Saw in Half. So this is going to be a rare valued at just over $7. Very cool to see that. I'm going to put him up with Space Jace just because of his value. And then we got ourselves the planes, followed by a dart throw, an information booth, and a foil questionable cuisine with the contortionist, which is a flip uh, token. And we got a narrow minded baloney fireworks. So. Uh, between our Blood Crypt and the Saw in Half, we're already at uh, 65 bucks, maybe 67 Throw in the Space Bellerin, we're maybe at 70 And then throw in all of these lands. Yeah, th these boxes are just uh, underpriced, I think. Got the Gatebot, the Zookeeper, the Wii Champion, the Attempted Murder, Knight in Blank Armor, Druggletron. Don't try this at home. Then we got a Forest. Drop Tower, Squirrel Attack, the Bucket Bot, and the Elemental Time Flamingo. Now, when I say they're underpriced, I say that only because of the the fact that, you know, they're right around $100 a box or so right now. And between the Foil Shock and if you get a Shock, which is not guaranteed, I don't believe, uh, in every single box, um, you can basically be getting all of the, the Infinity cards for free. Uh, they're just kind of like a bonus thrown in with the lands. Now that assumes that the land cards will hold their value of $1 to $3 uh, long term. So if that happens, uh, this is a no-brainer. We've got Katarina of Myra's Marbles, the Planetary Plains, Foam Weapons Kiosk, Hall of Mirrors, Clown Robot, and an Urza's Dark Cannonball. Got a step right up, the bluffer fish, the gob smacked, the circus act, or circuits act, stilts rider, rad rascal, octo opus, blank blank trespasser, happy trigger happy, and hardy of Myra's marvels. Oh my god, look at that! And a temple garden. That is awesome. Now this is uh, going to be one of the least expensive shock lands, but that is our second shock land in the box amazing all right so i think that's somewhere around 26 dollars. so i'm just gonna put that down next to our blood crypt then we got our bumper cars followed by a roller coaster a drop tower of food and a playable delusionary hydra all right so i guess that answers the age-old question can you get two shock lands in a draft booster box and the answer is most definitely yes I know we only have a few more packs to go, but I am going to shuffle the cards one more time, move my commons and uncommons out of the way, and begin to bring these a little bit more into focus. Under them is the box topper. We'll pull that out gently later. All right, Rat in the Hat, Motion Sickness, The Hat Trick, Deadbeat Attendant, Alpha Guard, Blorby and Buddy, Art Appreciation, Park Reentry, Ambassador Blurpity Blurp Bloop, Sword Swallowing Seraph, A Far Out Mythic coming in, and then we're going to see ourselves a mountain, followed by a costume shop, the bounce chamber, the balloon, 
and the familiar Beeble mascot. All right, last pack to go before we open up the box topper. Maybe it's me who's denting the corners. All right, we got ourselves a scared stiff, followed by a prize wall. Then we're going to see our leading performance, Carnal Carnival Carnivore, the MB Giddon, uh, One Clown Band, Six Sided Die, Ballerina, Para Lost Dice, The Big Top, and Fluoros of Myra's Marvels coming in as our rare. With an island, fortune teller, memory test, rare, Tic uh, the ticket bot, and the misunderstood trapeze elf. All right, and now, of course, the moment you've all been waiting for. Just make a little bit of room here. Put our rares over here. Comes up here, and we will just slide all of this down. I know, I could have planned better. <laughs> All right, box topper time. Like I just wrote on a comment to somebody, I'm just a guy with a phone and a love for opening packs of cards. All right, let's see what we get. Will it be another Blood Crypt or a Temple Garden? I have seen box topper duplication of internal Shocklands. I don't think that's necessarily always a thing. We are going to see a godless shrine coming in here. Very cool to see this in foil. Uh, this is right around $44. So just regular old foil. I'm going to move our saw in half and our space bellerin up. And we'll just line up. All right, so those are the five key cards that are going to be coming out of this box. I'll slide in the regular lands. So give me just a moment. I'll get everything sorted, organized, and be right back with the MTG box analysis. Let's start things off with a quick look at the Infinity set. The set contains 286 unique cards. All of the cards from the main set can be found in traditional frame, foil, and in collector booster packs, you can see the entire set, including the shock lands, in a new treatment called Galaxy Foil. Now let's take a look at how this box was distributed across the set. This chart shows all the cards we saw during the opening, with the traditional foils in orange, the non-foils in green, and the set in gray as our baseline. From the main set, this box contained a variance of 7 between black 63 cards and blue 70. For comparison, last week's box was more evenly distributed, with a variance of only 2 cards between the primary colors of magic. In today's box, we saw 1 foil basic land, whereas in last week's box we saw 2. The biggest difference between the two boxes, though, was in the borderless category. The previous box only contained two borderless shock lands, one in non-foil and one the foil box topper. And as you saw just a moment ago, this box contained two shock lands in non-foil plus the foil box topper. Taking a look at coverage, in the non-foil space, we saw 192 unique cards, which accounts for 77% of the main set being contained in this box. For comparison, the previous box only covered 75% of the set. In this box, our highest coverage from the primary colors was in blue, with 97% being contained in today's box. 71 of the 72 attractions in this box were unique, which provided us 53% coverage of the 135 variants for attractions. We also saw no duplicate stickers, which means that we saw 75% coverage of the 48 stickers in the set. In the foil space, we saw 10 unique cards from the main set, which gave us right around 4% coverage of the 251 cards. For comparison, the previous box contained one additional foil, but still about the same coverage percentage. Pivoting to coverage by rarity, in this box we saw 100% of the commons in non-foil, as well as 92% of the uncommons, 31 rares for 48% coverage, and 7 mythics for 27% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 4 commons, 3 uncommons, and 2 rares. When comparing this week's box to last week's, both boxes contained 33 rares. However, today's box contained 2 extra mythics over last week's box, with 7 as opposed to 5. Now let's take a look at the duplication in this draft booster box. 
This chart shows the number of cards that were duplicated in the box. In total, 123 cards were repeated 230 times, which means that this box had a duplication rate of 43% with 22 play sets of common cards. For comparison, the prior box saw 44% duplication and 26 play sets of common cards. Now let's take a minute to look at the potential value of the cards in the Unfinity set. This chart shows all 251 standard cards plus the 135 attraction variants and 48 stickers. Currently, about a week and a half after launch, the only cards valued over $10 in non-foil are the Borderless Shocklands. There are three cards valued between $5 and $10, and 12 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 409 cards, if you include all of the variants of all of the attractions, and the stickers, are valued under a dollar. For comparison, the only categorical movement from last week was that two of the cards that were valued just over a dollar dropped to below a dollar. Right now, all 251 standard cards, plus the attractions and stickers, have a total market value of $561.57. This is up $48.29 from last week's total value of $513.28. How? Well, let's take a look at all of the cards that have moved up or down more than a dollar in the last seven days. Of the 12 cards, only one, the Space Bellerin or Space Jace, has moved down. The other 11 have moved up and four of the non-foil Shocklands have increased by $10 or more in value. Let's begin to look at the value that we saw in these 36 packs starting off in the non-foil space. We saw two cards valued over $10, which were the Borderless Temple Garden at $26.81 and the Borderless Blood Crypt at $55.34. We also saw one card valued between $5 and $10, which was our saw in half. The box contained nine cards valued over a dollar, with eight of them being basic lands. The remaining 517 non-foils in the box were all valued less than a buck. And in the foil space, we really only had one hit, and that was our box topper at the Godless Shrine valued at $44.11. We didn't see any cards valued between one and $10, which means that the remaining 11 foils in the box are valued less than a dollar. Let's break down the observed value by rarity using these two charts. On the left, we can see the number of cards by rarity and dollar category, and on the right, we can see the total value. In this box, we saw seven mythics. Unfortunately, they only had a total value of $5.84. The 44 rares in the box have a total value of $143.95, thanks almost entirely to our three borderless shock lands. The 146 uncommons are valued at $22.59, and the 273 commons have a total value of $35.17. Now let's talk about the basic lands. Currently, the basic lands are averaging about $0.81 cents for the on-planet versions and $3.01 for the outer space versions. In this box, 76% of the lands were on-planet and 24% were space. This is very much in alignment with last week's box as we saw a 75-25% ratio. So how did this box perform? Well, I purchased this box through a Patreon agreement during the pre-order season for $99.66. Today we opened up 36 draft booster packs with 16 cards each, seeing a total of 576 cards plus a box topper. The 36 stickers have a total market value of $12.06. The 36 tokens are valued at $4.46. The 12 foils, including the box topper, have a total value of $47.26. The remaining 493 non-foils in the box, including the 34 basic lands and the two non-foil shock lands, are currently valued at $206.36. This brings the grand total for the box up to $270.14, which is a gain of $170.48 over the price I paid, which means that 271% of the box price was returned in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards just valued over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw 13 cards valued over two bucks in the box, and they have a combined value of $161.88. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do something amazing.